great fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hulk smash, puny humans! Hey guys, Dread Fun here. Oh, I scared the dogs across the street. Oh, serious. Hey, that's right, number one in Dread Fun's top ten uh, superhero list. And that's right, you heard it. Hulk. Very close to my heart. Uh, him and Batman, the two uh, dominant influences as a child. Um, Hulk came on after uh, I got introduced to Batman. Again, it was television that uh, did it. Uh, Mr. Lou Ferrigno and Bill Bixby's original TV series, uh... The Hulk, which was done in the 70s and 80s, and through that I ended up exposing myself to the big green Goliath, old Jade Jaws. And uh, I've collected them on and off throughout the years. Uh, really, like I said, I just, I love Hulk. Um, I loved him so much, uh, you know, I used to dress up uh, like him. I won't get too much into that. It's going to be, i got a little side project I'm working on that uh, involves that particular tale. Uh, anyways, yeah, Hulk, uh, created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Uh, he first appeared in uh, Incredible Hulk, 1962. Uh, you know, he was inspired heavily by Frankenstein and Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, as well as uh, the Golem of Jewish, uh, Jewish mythology. Um, that's where uh, Stan Lee got the major influence to create this character. Uh, the original gray, uh, the original skin tone was. Uh, was gray, but uh, it, it came across that uh, the tones just weren't consistent, and in some panels he looked almost green, and others he looked very pale. So uh, they eventually switched it to green, and they made that all fit into uh, the whole multiple personality thing with Mr. Banner there. Of course, uh, Hulk's powers, the madder Hulk gets, the stronger he gets. So, I mean, this, this, uh, this beast is invulnerable. He's had everything from his skin blown off to just a skeleton. I mean, he's uh, lifted airplanes, uh, knocked over mountains, you name it. Uh, Hulk will smash. Um, you know, he, a, lot of, a lot of characters depict him as a schizophrenic or um, sort of having a dissociative identity disorder. Um, basically, that equates to, you know, uh, Bruce Banner is a multiple of different personalities from uh, traumatic stress suffered throughout his childhood as well as, uh, you know, other maybe genetic uh, exposure. I don't know. Either way, there's many different versions of the Hulk. You got Mr. Fix-It. You got the Hulk Smash Hulk. You got the Smarter Hulk with the ponytail. I mean, you even got the Monster Hulk that looks like a half crocodile. All of these are inside Banner and are different aspects of Banner and can be called upon, I guess, uh, depending on the writer. Uh, for me, Dale Cowan is the be-all and end-all of Hulk artists. Uh, if you're not familiar, he's also the man who created Pitt, who is another big green, well, I guess he's a big gray skin, I guess an alien, but a big gray skin behemoth. Uh, another big influence is the writer Peter David, who had a 12 year run on the Hulk comic book series. I've even read some of his other stuff in novel format. And another artist I really want to mention is Ed McGinnis, this guy, uh, uh, very clean style, so clean that, I mean, a lot of times he doesn't even have to have his pencils inked. They can just be translated over from, uh, in a video format, or in a, a computer format. So just darkening the pencils through that way. Um, like I said, I, I loved Hulk, and this particular picture, you, you, you probably recall at the start, I had some trouble laying it out. For all these pictures, I didn't really have a, a, a I just had an outline, kind of. So as I'm drawing it, if I get a sort of a feel, that's what I did with this one. Anyways, that's probably got to be my daughter calling. Anyways, don't forget to like my video and subscribe. And what's your uh, video top ten? Dreadfun out. This has been a Dreadfun.com production. Thanks for watching.